But I love what you said about the project managers. How, like, what are some of the tasks that, so I'm thinking about this from, okay, let's just say I, I'm, uh, I'm making, you know, $300,000 a year. I work at Bank of America. I'm going to buy uh, a drop shipping business. I don't really want to do all the day-to-day -day stuff. I definitely want, don't want to do all the product development and, and, or the product research. What's something else, if they, were to, if they were to hire somebody, if they were to hire like their first team member post-acquisition, who would you recommend they hire? I, I like what you said about the project manager. That, that, uh, I'll comment after you, but I've got some ideas around it. For, for me, I would say definitely like project manager would be really helpful, if, especially if the founder doesn't really want to get their hands dirty every single day. So I would say the founder or like the person that bought the business would be looking at more data every single day. They should be like, they should be concerned about like how much sales, what's the profit, like are they generating and sufficient profit and so on and so forth. But like the project managers out is something that I would say is like the left or right hand man of the company's like CEO, right? So this person is in charge of doing, managing, keeping all the teams together. So I kind of got this concept from my startups in the past because like, you know, when, when you work with Silicon Valley startups, they always have a product or a project manager that's in charge of like making sure everything goes smoothly. So the, a product manager in like any startups has a very high authority in, this, in the company itself because they decide how they want a product or they, they manage different uh, projects. But for us, we, we kind of combine this role together, a product and a project manager. But if we put it in dropshipping sense, uh, I usually like to combine a project manager with a really good marketing guy. So this person, because like marketing, it's what makes a difference, right? But at the same time, you need someone who knows some marketing to kind of like manage the people. For example, the product teams, the product team research team leader, right? Or you, you have so many people you want to manage. Regardless if your business is lean, I think it's always good to have someone kind of like, you know, managing all the nitty gritty details for you every single day because, um, you know, it's going to be a lot of hassles when you are managing like 10 people, 20 people. But project managers, as long as they have been trained in like scrums or like whatever, like different project management skills, they would bring a fresh refreshment to your company because like a lot of people, like for example, myself, I don't know what's like, you know, I, I, I know, I know, I didn't know before. But like my project managers taught me like, hey, we should do a stand up every single day. We should use Trello. We should use ClickUp. Here's how we do it. By, but my approach is I wouldn't want to hire someone who I have to teach them, right? Because that defeats the purpose of me spending so much money to hire someone that I have to teach, right? And the company would not be able to grow. So whenever I hire someone, I, I, I kind of like a management role or like VP level, I have to ensure this person is bringing a wealth of experience into the company and going to make a difference. I love that. Um, I think that's like the um, probably the most the most easy and relevant way to get somebody into a business that uh, can manage many of the aspects of it uh, from a very mature pedigreed industry style. So project managers, I love them because they've got a very disciplined approach to what, how they're going to be interacting with other, you know, players, whether it be vendors or other staff members eventually. And then the business owner being the one looking at the key performance indicators, the sales, the profit, the expenses, checking invoices, like that kind of stuff. I think it's a really good role for the, for the owner too. And it also doesn't take a whole lot of time. Um, exactly, so that, yeah. that's, uh, see my, my cats are going wild. <laughs> <So cute. laughs> um, so yeah, that, that I think it's like the number one key hire for anyone buying a business who doesn't want to, you know, especially if it's, if it's like, this is probably the smaller scale. You're not, you're not getting a team when you're buying a business. It was uh, an owner operator before, and you may not necessarily want to be the owner operator. I, we're actually big fans of, of people that, you know, if you, if you've got a full-time you know, job, you've got a career, you're an executive, you're making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, keep that, keep doing that. And then hire a project manager, like you just said, and, uh, and have them, you know, stand up all of the, uh, the structure for accountability 
And then as the transition occurs, you're going to collect all the key performance indicators from the past owner and that past owner and your project manager, you know, that, that hire that person can work together to kind of set up some of those standard operating procedures. So on the, on the acquisition side, um, I, I think that's absolutely the number one first person I would hire is someone with a very strong product, you know, project management background. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews and introduce yourself in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller?